Well, good morning. I'm here in Sarasota, Florida this morning to exhibit at the St. Armand Circle Art Festival. It's Sunday morning. It looks like it rained a little bit overnight. Yesterday, it was picture perfect, beautiful, sunny, and, you know, mild temperatures, really nice. Crowd was huge, perfect art show weather. Today is supposed to be nice and clear. All the rain has cleared out. So it should be another great day here, which is nice because uh, the past few weeks we've had some not so great art show weather, but great shows anyway, despite the weather. Of course, weather can be a, a factor in having a great art show or not, but it's not always the deciding case. As I mentioned, I think in my last video, I've had great shows when it's raining out because the people who come out to an art show when it's raining are there for the art. So just because the weather isn't perfect doesn't mean the show is going to suck. Artists are funny, you know, no matter how big the crowd is or how beautiful the weather is, at every single show I do, I always hear an artist complain about their show being terrible because of some ridiculous reason. I hear things all the time like, oh, my sales sucked because there's a football game on, or it's an election year, or I was on the shady side of the street. And while all those things can definitely have an effect on an art show, Looking to blame them for your bad show is totally unproductive. It doesn't matter if your booth is right next to the porta potties, you're still responsible for reacting to the situation that you're in. The more time you spend pointing your finger and blaming everything else in the universe for your crummy show, the more power you give those things. Just about every form of growth and improvement in your life, and especially when it comes to art shows, is going to come from your ability to adapt to your circumstances. And I've noticed artists love to say things like, well, I had a bad show because I was on the south side of the street and I always do better when I'm on the north side of the street and there was a big football game on Sunday and you know all my people didn't come down to the show. Every one of us know artists who say things like this, but the real way to get around that is to think, well, there is a football game on Sunday, so how can I have a great show despite this? Have I done all the things that I can do that are in my control to set myself up to have a great show this weekend? And it's also funny because I never hear those same artists uh, when they have a great show saying things like, well, I had a great show because there was no football game and it's not an election year and the stock market is up and I was on the sunny side of the street. It's only when it comes to the negative things that they look to outside forces that affect their show. And when it comes to having a great show, they like to take all the responsibility for it. When in reality, they're probably more responsible for having a bad show than they are for a good show. And I'm not saying that all of my shows are great because they aren't. And I definitely fall into that category of you know, blaming other things for my bad shows sometimes, like, ah, uh, you know, it was rainy, or I was in a crummy mood, or I didn't sleep well. I, I do that all the time, so I'm not innocent of this either. But before I go blaming my crummy show on something like a football game, I want to be sure that I did all the things that I need to do to make my show successful despite any outside things that may be going on. Like, did I send out an email to my email list? Did I get a good sleep? Did I bring healthy food to eat during the show? Am I comfortable? Because in a year, I've been averaging about 25 shows, which means I have about 50 days a year in which to make a full-time income for the year and put away money to save for the future. So I can't afford to waste even one of those days blaming my crappy sales on the Jets. I always try and think, and I'm not always successful with it, but I try and think, how can I have a great show this weekend despite the challenges that are out there? And it's no secret, I've talked about it on here before, I'm a, a very moody person, and if I'm in a bad mood, I have a crappy show. So I need to be sure that I've done all the things that I need to do to avoid being in a crappy mood so that my sales don't suck. Mm -hmm. 